The National Crime Agency has warned parents about letting their kids use Facebook, saying that since messages were encrypted on the site, paedophiles are able to groom children and share sexual images undetected. Uh, it predicts that 92% of the referrals it receives from Facebook will now no longer be passed on to the police. And the head of the agency also warned that uh, not enough paedophiles are being jailed, with eight out of ten offenders avoiding prison. Uh, joining us now is a uh, former Metropolitan Police Detective Peter Blexley. Uh, thanks for coming in, Peter. Always a pleasure to have your company. Uh, I mean, we've just uh, sort of been digesting this story this week about John Venables, the guy who killed Jamie Borger when he was just 10 years old, is now a 41-year-old fully-fledged paedophile, has been in jail twice for paedophile offences. You and I have discussed, or we've all discussed this before, which is, why, why does the parole board say, oh, well, this man has been uh, uh, rehabilitated, we can re release him? You cannot, <coughs> you cannot... Uh, rehabilitate a paedophile, can you? Uh, and this is why the crime agency are saying we need to lock more of these people up because they're a danger to children. Yeah, Graham Bigger, who's the head of the National Crime Agency, was very vocal this week in a story broken by a fine journalist called John Austin, who does a lot of work in this regard. And he said, we are simply not locking, or the courts are not locking up enough paedophiles. Mr Bigger went on to explain that they're arresting... 800 people a month, mm. even I can do the maths, 9,600 a year for child sexual offences. And only about 20% of those people are being locked up. So there is, quite simply, no deterrent. And when there is no deterrent, people offend and offend and offend, and this is what we are seeing. It is epidemic proportions... We need to buy a lot of bricks and a lot of bars and build a lot of prisons and lock them up. Why is it? Why is uh, uh, 8 out of 10 not uh, ending up in prison? You'd imagine that the crime of paedophilia comes with some fairly solid evidence, if it's computer material and so on and so forth, that you can say, well, look, clearly you're in possession of indecent images, you know, that you, you should be prosecuted. There was a recent case of a 56-year-old man called Karem, OK, who had been captured with hundreds upon hundreds of indecent images. And when his devices were examined, it showed that his offending had stretched over a 13-year period. And that man got a two-year prison sentence, suspended, did not go to jail. You couldn't find a finer example of systematic, constant, repeated offending, and yet he didn't get banged up. Do we uh, need, Peter, to start to treat uh, paedophilia, being a paedophile, you know, as seriously as we do murderers or rapists? Uh, because, uh, I mean, murderers and rapists uh, sometimes... Well, not rapists, but murderers often act in a spur of the moment and arguably uh, are not necessarily a massive danger to society. So you can think about letting them out. You can rehabilitate murderers, I think. Uh, maybe even rapists, but you cannot rehabilitate paedophiles. And paedophiles, when they're on the streets, will always be a danger to children. So is there a case for uh, treating uh, paedophile offences with the seriousness we treat murder or rape? Some murderers are beyond the pale and can never be rehabilitated, which is why they get whole life orders. And the same goes for certain rapists. With regards to paedophiles, I always rely upon my wife for this, because... In her over 30-year police career, 16 of those years were dedicated to catching paedophiles. And she will tell th the world, if ever they wanted to hear her voice, they simply cannot be rehabilitated. Mm. It is beyond their comprehension. But I think there is a perception amongst the judiciary, the judges, and perhaps almost at the Home Office and the Department of Justice, that... They're only looking at pictures. And that is utterly repugnant because every picture means a victim, yeah. means a child has been abused, often repeatedly, and they are in massive danger and they are hugely vulnerable. Not only does the National Crime Agency arrest 800 people a month, it actually manages to rescue many, many children from these abusive situations that they find themselves in. It's a scandal. We've got to lock them up.